What's up guys, it's Michael Tough for Reptile back with another video today and today we are with our good friends Jungle Jewel Exotics and today we are going to be showing you guys all the changes that they've made to their room. There has been a number of them. There's been a ton of new frogs and just a lot of development going on. So that's the goal for today. We're gonna give you a tour of Jungle Jewel Exotics. It's gonna be a whole bunch of awesome footage for you guys, feeding. And Lucas was even kind enough to give some insight on how they build their tanks. So we'll dig into it later in the video. So we've changed a few things since the last time you were here. We've added a couple more racks and made it a little bit more flow through, a little more breezy to be able to see all our frogs. Let's check out some of these tanks. So here we have our, our latest additions. This is where we're gonna keep our alfaga and some of the tanktura species. And then we have a dozen more tanks that we're gonna be adding some more of the, our holdbacks and uh, introduce more quantity Quantity of breeders. And into this row we have uh, three different layers of types of frogs. We have some Tinctora species. Large Ophaga species. And our, our latest, the Antilopus. Now that you have a vague idea of what's going on in their frog room and all the new species that they got in, let's go feed a whole bunch of frogs and then dig into the cage build and a couple other little goodies. And we're starting off the feeding strong with these gorgeous Dendrobates erratus blue and black. These guys make for a great beginner dart frog along with many of the other locales and species that you'll see at the beginning of this feeding portion. One of the best starters out there, although they are typically known to be quite shy. For some reason, a lot of the erratus even these Colombian yellows tend to be more bold at Jungle Jewel. Not sure why, but that is the case. And continuing down Aratus Alley, we have the Reticulated Aratus. These guys are one that I don't think I've actually seen in person before. These guys are actually fairly new to Jungle Jewel and I'm pretty sure they only have like three males currently. So they need some females to get some breeding action going. And now we can go on to the beautiful Dendrobates erratus super blue. These guys just kind of highlight the diversity of colors in the erratus and really all dart frogs. This guy is pretty striking. And lastly with the erratus, we are ending it off with a bang with the Kalua and Cream erratus or the Campana. These guys are one of the shyer ones that Jungle Jewel has. But again, they're actually out pretty frequently. They are certainly very unique coloration because of their, as described in the common name, Kalua and Cream coloration. Definitely differentiates itself from the rest of most dart frogs. Now with another flavor of beautiful dart frog, these are Dendrobates leucomelas, otherwise known as the bumblebee dart frogs. These guys are an incredible species that come in a few different locales, phenotypes, different looks, I guess. These guys are the banded lukes, and the next ones you're about to see right now are just standard lukes. These guys are even more shy for Jungle Jewel than the erratus, which is not typically the case, but hey, I guess everybody's mileage may vary. These guys still make for one of the best dart frogs as beginners, and they also have a beautiful call, which differentiates them from the rest of the dart frogs, which are typically recommended for beginners. Now moving on to the third of the top three beginner dart frogs that you guys can typically start off with. If you guys are watching this video for that kind of information, these are the beautiful Dendrobates tinctorius. These ones in particular are green Cipollowini. These are one of my favorite locales of the tinctorius. And unfortunately, I didn't actually film too many of these guys eating while they are still very bold eaters. I don't want to fall out of relevancy for YouTube. So I actually ended up filming most of it in vertical format in order to make a couple short videos for you guys. So stay tuned to the channel for that. And in the meantime, we'll continue watching the ones that I did end up filming. Starting with one of my favorite locales. These are the Dendrobates tinctorius yellowback. And it's really hard to get the true color of their back on video. It is a very like soft, creamy yellow type color. In this footage, it just looks completely white, but I promise you in person, they are one of the most stunning frogs. Absolute jet black body with cool white spots on their legs and on their abdomen and that beautiful yellow back slash head. Really, honestly, one of my favorite Tinctorius. Now going from one of my favorite to one of the largest locales of Tinctorius, these are the Dendrobates Tinctorius Lafou. 
These guys are massive. These guys aren't necessarily one of my favorites. Everybody has their own taste as what they like in a frog. The distribution of the yellow and black is not quite as striking as I would like it to be, especially for dart frogs. But in general, these guys are the same care, very hardy, and like I said, get absolutely massive. And what would a frog room tour be without one of the most quintessential dart frogs in the hobby? Dendrobates Azurius. The beautiful blues on these guys are incredible. I truly wish we did have some fine spot Azurius in Canada because they have pretty much an entirely baby blue back. I want to say a quick thank you to Mr. Goldberg, Troy Goldberg himself for sending me these photos. Much appreciated, dude. These guys are one of the most classic dart frogs in the hobby and one of the best beginners as well. So that is good to know if you're kind of new to dart frogs and checking out this video. I think now is a good time to drop the whole feeding act of this video and move on to some show and tell starting with this gorgeous Ufaga Silvatica Peru. These guys are pretty uncommon in Canada although there was just an import and Jungle Jewel ended up getting the majority of that import. Honestly this one in particular though really takes the cake for the nicest one that they have. I know I got some toady people in this audience, so I gotta share the Harlequin toads or the Stubfoot toads, whatever you wanna call them. This is Atelopus elegans. These guys are native to tropical rainforests in Northwest Ecuador, typically found near streams, where they do all of their mating and their courtship and uh, all their big song and dance. And right next to those guys, we also have the purple Harlequin toad, otherwise known as Atelopus barbotini. These guys are endemic to French Guiana, typically found on mossy logs, rocks, that kind of deal near creeks and rivers. These guys are a very dependent on moving water. Typically they are found near that moving water, which includes like creeks and streams and even sometimes larger rivers. So both of these toad species are not something you typically see, especially in Canada. Jungle Jewel is one of a handful of people that have both of these species and thankfully they have actually gotten eggs from both species. While they have not been successful on raising those eggs, they have got them and that is the first step. Hopefully next time I visit, they'll have some toadlets to share. You sound so broken. That was the feeble calls of this beautiful Ufaka Pumilio El Dorado. Really trying his best to make some calls, but uh, it just wasn't quite working out for him that time, I guess. But it did work out for me that I was finally able to film these Amirga Silverstoni. These guys are incredibly rare in the hobby and they are typically quite challenging to film, but this time was finally the time that I managed to do so. Enjoy. So a question we get asked often is, how do we build our tanks? Start by building our background. They follow the background rule where you silicone in your wood and then foam around it. After the foam has been cured and carved, they then layer on silicone and add their background mix to it. Let that dry and cure. If I wanna build a pond, I'll start by siliconing in some rocks to give myself that pond look. And then I'll start layering in some LECA and that's gonna act as my drainage layer. In the front, I'll use a river rock or aquarium gravel to build a facade, a couple inches thick so that uh, you know, once it's completely built, it looks like the edge of a stream. And then from there, I'm gonna uh, add on my uh, soil. And now we're gonna add the plants as well. So now we've completed the build. This is day one of the, of the tank. So the plants are in it. They're starting to grow their roots. If we fast forward a couple months, this is what the tank looks like now.
You know how at the beginning I mentioned that there is some goodies? Well, this is it. You can see the female Diablo sitting in her tadpole, and she ended up laying a good clutch of eggs. It's seemingly the first good clutch of eggs that Jungle Jewel has gotten from her or the Paru, but man, what a rewarding and special experience to share with my good friends. All right, you guys, and that does it for the room tour at Jungle Jewel Exotics. Maybe next time I'm here, we'll do like a tank by tank video. That'd that be would a lot. be a very <laughs> long, lengthy video. I think people would like to see the different tanks and whatnot that you guys have in the room and know a bit about the frogs that are inside them. So. Truthfully though, I really do want to know what you guys want to see next time I visit Jungle Jewel. Do you want more in-depth species tips? Do you want more footage of like the toads, of the nocturnal frogs, like the glass frogs? Let me know what you want to see in the comments down below. It will truly help me out and I'll make sure I bring a notepad next time I'm over there. That is it for today. I want to thank you guys all very much for watching. Of course, Don, Lucas, you guys are the homies and I appreciate you guys dedicating your day to me coming here and showing off this insane room. It's really incredible what you guys have built here. Well, thank it's you. It's our pleasure. Thank you for coming. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or you want to see that full tank by tank video, let me know in the comments down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, you should probably fix that and we'll catch you in the next one. Later.